is one step forward and two steps back for Australia's same-sex marriage laws, as all gay married couples are forced to have their marriages annulled. The country's first gay marriage laws were introduced in the Australian Capital Territory at the start of December. But only five days later, the powers at be changed their minds. In less than a week, we've been married and we've been unmarried. We're very disappointed, we're quite devastated. Obviously we knew that this was a possibility, but it was still quite sad to sit in the court and hear that judgment. The Conservative National Government argues the original law to legalise gay marriage conflicts with the federal law, so it was overturned in Parliament. That means the 20 couples that tied the knot since the start of December will have their nuptials annulled. Australia's marriage equality director, Rodney Croom, had an undefeated attitude after he heard the ruling. For the first time ever, same-sex couples have married on Australian soil. That has been a huge step forward and one from which there is no return. The High Court today has given us a clear path forward. Australia's Green Party have now introduced a federal marriage equality bill. The party leader, Christine Milne, had this to say. It's devastating for the people concerned and for their families and friends, but it is also a clarion call for everyone around the country who supports marriage equality to now put the pressure on the federal government and the federal parliament to change it. In April, nearby New Zealand became the first country in the Asia-Pacific region to legalise gay marriage. It is now unclear if or when Australia will follow suit.